And I don't know if you were able to see it because it happened pretty quickly, but immediately in the content browser here, that images folder that I just generated externally is now appearing inside of the content browser in the game engine. So I could come in now and I could add or import elements into the specific folder. Likewise, if I go ahead and come back to the Unreal Game Engine, we have this Add Import button here that if you click on the dropdown, it's going to allow you and give you a lot of different options here. So what I'm going to do is, let's say I also have some audio I need to pull in. So now, instead of being external to the Unreal Game Engine, I'm using this Add Import button. And I'm going to say New Folder, and I will call this audio. Now just to go ahead and bring this full circle here, I'm going to reopen the Windows Explorer here and if you notice now under content you can see the audio folder that I used Unreal to generate. So both ways work as far as going in and creating these file types here or these folder types. So you've organized your content folder a little bit more, you have a couple more options the next step overall though is okay you have external content for unreal that you'd like to actually import in so to show you here under my downloads i did download an image and i did grab a wave fo audio file so i say to myself i want to import these there's a couple ways to do an import however there are some that are better than others like, let me go ahead and demonstrate here. So let's start with the image demo picture. So I say to myself, okay, I want to double click on the images folder. In the content browser, a couple of things. Number one, when you're navigating in your content browser, notice along the top here, when you start to double click to go into folders, Unreal provides you a breadcrumb trail of as far as how many folders in you are. I can click on these at any time. It will take me back up one folder level. So it is one way of navigating. You also have the back arrow to go back to a previous folder level. So the first option though, as far as importing into the content browser and what I'll see people do is they can actually click and drag and drop. So there you can see that my image has been dragged and dropped into uh, Unreal here. However, I want to talk a little bit about what actually happened here as far as the overall graphic is concerned and why this can be a bit of an issue. So I double clicked on this. I just wanted to bring up the image details panel here. And I'm going to scroll down here. And what I want to show you here is right here for the file path for the source file. I dragged and dropped, but notice that it's still referencing the graphic in the downloads folder of my computer. This can be a bit of a problem that if you're switching computers or you're moving your files around, it's not actually stored in the project folder. So while you can drag and drop, it can be an issue from the standpoint of it's going to be still located at that original location, in my case, the downloads folder. So let me go ahead and show you two other ways that you can do this. So I'm gonna actually delete this file here. Your first option is you could stay completely external here. So I have two windows uh, for when the Explorer open. I could actually navigate to the project externally outside of Unreal. So here's my content browser, here's the content folder, images, and I could actually just move the file here. So I put it into the images folder and what will happen is Unreal, if you go back into Unreal, it's going to give you the heads up that, hey, somebody has moved something into a folder in the content folder, do you want to import it? Tell it import, it'll process. And now you can see, let me go ahead and double click this again so we can take a look at that file path. Notice that it's a relative path now. It is contained in the games folder. It is, you know, so if you move this folder here, as far as your project is concerned, it will move with the project.
Now let's look at one other way to import. So I'm actually going to go back to the content and as you saw, and as I said earlier, I also had an audio file here that I'd like to pull into my game as well. That's why I made the audio folder here. Now the other option for importing is to be able to import your element and make it into an Unreal asset. So I'm going to do this for the audio file that I downloaded. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my audio folder. Now I'm not going to drag and drop here, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an add import just so that I can show you how to use the button here. Now by default, you can see that it already recognizes the folder structure and the folder navigation of what I'm using here. So I'm going to go ahead and tell it to import and I'm going to select the piano playing WAV file. Now when you import something here, what you're going to see is you're going to see a little asterisk down in the corner here. That means that you haven't saved the file yet. So I'm going to go ahead and do file and we're going to do save all. So now the asterisk is gone. Now my actual object is uh, referenced there. But notice too that it's still showing the source file as my download folder if I just hover over the bottom there. However, what I'm looking for here is if I go back one level in content and go to the audio folder, I'm going to right click on the audio folder to bring up the options and I want to show an explore, explorer. And what you're going to see in here is you're actually going to see a different type of file here where it's actually a U asset. So the U asset file is what is going to move with the project and you're going to be able to reference it. You can use it just like you would an audio file and you'll be able to go in and edit. Overall, as you are working, the one thing I do advise folks who are new is I would even go one step further. Yes, you have you know specific folders for your different uh, elements that you're working with in Unreal. What I like to do sometimes though, just so that everything stays together, and especially if you're comfortable working in the Explorer and moving files around on the back end, I'll often make a folder called like original files. And this is where I'll store things like my PSDs, any sort of audition files, uh, any sort of 3D model files, just so they're kept with the game folder itself while I'm working. A completely optional thing, more of a my workflow type of thing, but it helps keep me organized.